Hi everyone, this is Sarah Ackley here with Tulip. Um, I'm here to show you a new application that we're releasing this week into our library. So um, it's not officially released yet. So we come in here to the line clearance application. So this is really catered towards um, anyone in a reg regulated environment or um, especially in like life sciences, we see a, a big need for needing to do a line clearance. Um, really important to make sure that your operations are following um, the quality procedures that are in place and making sure that the products that you're building um, are, are made to the most quality. So if I go ahead and show you a quick demo of the application, you can come in here and select a batch. Um, this type of application could be uh, connected directly to an ERP system. In most cases, I would say that this actually would be connected. So um, you wouldn't really have the option, you know, you would select on this table directly from an ERP system. Um, creating a new batch probably wouldn't apply to you and that you would handle that with your ERP system, but, um, you know, Tulip is super customizable, so you can easily add um, new information or, or batches into the system as well if you wanted to go that way. So we go ahead and select a batch. Um, you can see it's pulling the order that it's associated with, um, the material number and the quantity associated with that order. So we go ahead and click confirm. And then here, once again, um, you can customize it a bit further. This is showing a list of all of the equipment that um, is stored in our equipment table within Tulip. Um, this you could easily, you know, even you could, you could customize it so much that based on the station that you're logged into, um, maybe there's only one or two options of, of equipment that you would do a line clearance on. So you could narrow um, the selection down to one of those two machines. But I go ahead and I click the blending machine. Um, I click select. And the cool thing about Tulip, because it is a digital record, um, it's going to keep and store the last line clearance that you performed on that particular um, piece of equipment. So you can see here the previous batch was 0001, and now we're running um, 002. So that's really great because um, it's human readable. Um, you always can, can see what that was, and the full audit trail actually exists within Tulip. I'll show you that in a minute. So we're going to go ahead and click you know, start a new batch. Um, once again, it's saying, please confirm the previous batch information. I'm going to click Next. I've confirmed it. Um, Tulip automatically pulls the date and time of when this application has started. So um, it's currently 132. Um, so it automatically pulls that timestamp. I then can go ahead and uh, go through my checklist. You can easily customize this checklist to fit whatever your regulations are. Um, this is just, again, used as an example of how you could use Tulip in order to perform a line clearance. Um, you go ahead and click Submit, and then it walks us through um, a signature form. And so this, again, you can customize. Um, this is asking a double confirmation of the operator. But since the operator is locked in, they're, all, they're already being stored with the information. Um, you could change this to be like a verifier and you could set up the logic to make sure that the person who is signing this form, um, you know, that the badge ID matches the verifier. One other thing to note is that if you are, um, if you are in this space, generally you're connected directly to your Active Directory. And so this here would prompt for a username and password um, that is your, that's linked to your Active Directory as opposed to the uh, Tulip badge ID, which would, which would be much more um, secure. So we go ahead and confirm and now we've moved on to the cleaning checklist and you can see it's storing the, the new timestamp um, and then I can go through and perform my checks. One other thing that Tulip does do um, is you can make sure all of your fields are required. So that's just kind of building quality into the design of the application. And then we go through and Confirm our checking. Just run through here. And so now we've completed the line clearance for that new batch. We could come in here and um, if we select the blending machine, we can see the full history of uh, line clearances that has been performed on that particular machine. Um, so we could see that on August 27th it ran 0001 and now today on September 8th um, we did a changeover with this new batch that I just ran. So that's one of the um, 
benefits of using Tulip as a um, as your digital record. So you know you get all of your information in um, digital form. You don't have to store the paper. You also um, have everything that's legible, which is a which is a big thing. You can build the quality in, into the design, and then you also have the benefit of having um, the digital history record um, and the anal and the analytics to be able to optimize your process as well. So. This is another example of, of just something you could build off of um, the application we just ran through. So it's looking to see, okay, based on the steps that we completed, how long is it taking on each step? And maybe you can you can use this to either balance your, your workload across the different steps. Um, you can compare by operator. So you could help if John Smith's really struggling um, on cleaning on the cleaning checklist and maybe Tabitha is really great at it. Um, maybe you could buddy them up and help and help John um, do better at, at his job. And then, you know, likewise goes for the other way around. Um, and so, yeah, that's pretty much um, a, an example of what you could do um, with Tulip to build a line clearance application and be able to monitor and um, track all of your data regarding line clearances. So if you're interested at all, please um, please don't hesitate to reach out. You can email support at tulip.co. You can reach us on chat um, and we'd be happy to download this application into your instance and help you get started. Thank you.